Welcome to the show, everybody. Welcome to the show. Hey. Welcome to the show. It is me, your boy Rico No Suave. Welcome back to another great special. You already know it is Friday, Viernes a todos mi gente. We doing this for you. You know why? Because you're special and we're special. We're both special. Let's just make it just like that. Everybody, make sure you guys share this video. Make sure you tell everybody and their grandmother that Rico is actually here. And you know also who you need to tell your grandma? It's Valerie Malesios here too. Let's go. What's up, Valerie? Hey, what's up, guys? It's Friday this time. I know we're popping up on your screen. That's right. Twice this week. <laughs> yes. But that's okay because we got a little surprise for you today. I'm super excited for today's show. Yes. Very, very excited. So make sure you have your cafecito or your little cocktail for the evening and make sure you stick around with us. Yes. And don't forget that if you're eating, <laughs> save me a plate. That's all I need. Save me a plate. That's all I ask because uh, I'm going to be hungry after this one. I hope you all got to this one, so make sure you save your plate. And once again, everybody, we got a great show for you guys today, and I am ready for you guys to ask a lot of questions. But before we end off, this is Women's Month. Yes. This is the last day for Women's Month. And ladies, we want to say thank you. Women, thank you. Moms, 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 mothers, single ladies. Thank you. Grandmothers. Grandma, mom, sisters, right? daughters, you. cousins, yeah. everybody. everybody. Women, we are strong. Yeah. Everybody knows we really run the world. It's okay. Okay. Yes. So I, I like that. I like that. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> but women, we love you and we want to thank you. And thank you guys so much for actually tuning in uh, as far as to our show when we actually are doing everything from Ella Ochoa. We have Marla Gibbs. I forgot the, oh, we had Celia Cruz when I actually yes. didn't know Celia Cruz uh, as well. And then we had uh, from uh, Virginia, Virginia McCaskey. She actually was on the 100th birthday, you know, for the Chicago Bears. So there's women, so many there's out so there, many other, so yes. many to choose from. Yes. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And let's get it on. All right, everybody. I got to introduce this gentleman here. You already know, hey, he flew in. That's all I got to say. I'm excited because he flew in, right? And his flight was on the time. The plane right? has flight landed. Right? His flight was on time. You know, and the one thing I love about this gentleman is that when we talked, it was like an instant connection. That means that his hype was my hype. My hype was his hype. He's going in the right direction. He is a hero, everybody. He was a coach. He probably still is coaching out there, but we just we're gonna have to ask him, of course. But he is running for the 2024. He's a presidential candidate. I want you guys to stand up, put your hands together, put your heart, and rise up. None other than my man Robbie Wells. Woo! Robbie! All right, Rico. Rico, it's great to be here man, this evening. Welcome to the show. Welcome Thank you. To the show. All right, yeah. Valerie. It's so good to have you with us. And can I speak to the audience real Talk quick? Talk to them. Because I think you probably got some Hispanic listeners of as course. well. Of course. Yes. Hola, mi amigos. Mi nombre es Robbie Wells, candidato por presidente de los Estados Unidos yes. in 2024. All right. Levántate, mi amigos. Uh -huh. Crecer. ¿Por qué? Eso sí que es. Levántate. Well, you've got all bases covered there, huh? I do so I do. Hear that. Man, Robbie Wells is here with us, man. I love that. I like the way you introduced that for yourself. And I'm much love, man. That, that means a lot as far as to us here on the show. But when well, you know what also means a lot to us that you flew in. I'm going to keep talking, telling you about that. <laughs> okay. You okay, flew great. in, Papa. You <laughs> flew in, man. So, everybody, thank you guys so much for actually um, tuning in. Let's get right into it. So, there's a lot of questions, of course, when you're actually a presidential candidate, you know, running 2024, you know, one of the things about people want to know is, is why, but that's going to come down the line, but you saved a person's life on Father's Day, if I read that correctly. That's you're correct. A hero. Tell us about that. Well, I don't know, Rico, if I would call myself a hero. I think anybody in that situation would have done the same thing. Sure. Nobody wants to see someone die. Yes, sir. And um, just so happened it was after church. My father was a minister. He was living at the time. Okay. And uh, he had a home on Lake Marion in South Carolina. Okay. So after church, I had actually gotten on um, the boat. He had a, a pontoon boat. And I was just, just, you know, having a good afternoon, Sunday afternoon. And I came up on a swimming area. 
And uh, everybody was frantic in the area. They couldn't find this lady. Uh -huh. This one lady was saying, we can't find her. And then about that time, this gentleman that was in the water, he pulls this lady up, and she was as blue as the sky. Wow. Oh my and so he pulled her to the shore, and I knew CPR because I'd been a lifeguard. Okay. So I ran my boat up on the shore, ran over, and everybody was going crazy. There was probably about 100 people there or so. Sure. Nobody knew CPR. So I told them, I said, I know CPR. They got out of the way. I went right to it, brought her back. Okay. And uh, it, was, it was one of those moments that you really don't get frightened until it's over. Yes. And I got on the boat after yeah. EMS had gotten there. You know, I stayed with her until EMS got there, of course. Okay. But when you get back on the boat, you start realizing, this lady could have died. Yeah. Wow. She could have died. Yeah. So, oh, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Wow. And I, I mean... And do you still keep in contact with the young lady itself or, you know? Not, no, no, not at all. Okay. And, and I don't expect to hear from her. That's sure. not what it's about. Sure, sure. It's not right. what it's about. But apparently she had had a seizure and she had slipped under the water. She was epileptic. Wow. Okay. And she had slipped under the water while nobody was watching. Wow. Yeah. Wow. You know, and, and you know, one of the reasons why I, I, I say hero, but I should have called you an angel, right? And, and the reason why I say that, Robbie, Man. is because if you was not there, that young lady would have passed away. Um, and, you know, we, when I say hero, I think of it as, you know, it's, it's kind of like, man, it's kind of like you don't know where you're at until you're there at the right time. And one thing is, is that the angel, as you, are that angel to be able to bring someone alive. And the reason why I ask that question is because... Sometimes when people have their life being saved by someone else, they stay in contact with them, right? Like sometimes right. people feel like, I owe my An life to you, right? Yeah. I had that attachment, right? right? And I think you had that angel attachment to it, Robbie. And, and it's, a, it's a really good thing that you actually knew that and you actually saved their life at that time. Yeah, so. that was pretty cool. It was, you know, uh, again, uh, I, I'm glad that I was able to uh, be in the right place and be an instrument and that's one thing that I've tried to do Rico throughout my entire life is yes. just be obedient yes to my creator yes yes sir and according to the First Amendment if we can talk about this real quick talk to me. according to the First Amendment here in the United States it's really cool because we can worship whoever we want however we want right. whenever sure. we want yes sir but as for me and my house we serve the Lord okay the one true Lord yes sir yeah yes sir that's I it. believe in that. I believe in yes, that, sir. sir. Yes, sir. Okay. And I think that's one of the things that, um, you know, while we're here is in regards to who you believe in and also who you respect as far as. And it's cool that you said that because you understand that there's, of course, there's a lot of other religions. Oh, yeah. Uh, there's a lot of other religions and what you believe in is who you believe in. And that's right. that respect for yourself. Right. And that's well, the cool thing about, about all the religions is it, it, it keeps things interesting, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. But. I, I truly believe if you really break it all down, we all have one God. Yes, sir. You know? So. Yes, sir. All right. All right. So all inclusive. All, oh, yeah. I love that. All inclusive. <laughs> <laughs> Robbie, you know, we bought, we're going to get deep, right? We're going to get sure. deep because, you know, one of the things about running and as a, as a president, you know, um, there is why. The question is because I, I, we read through your bio, but the audience wants to know why. Why is Robbie Wells going to be president? You see how I did that? Going to be president <laughs> in 2024. Right. Tell us about that story. So for all of you that are wondering, first and foremost, who I am, my name is Robbie Wells, and I am running truly as an independent. And here's why. For many, many decades, our country has been divided. We've been divided over multitudes of, of issues, whether it's race, whether it's religion, socioeconomic status, uh, politics, you know, half the country they say is Democrat, half, half is Republican, yes, but that's sir. really not true, and I'm going to tell you about that in a minute. Let's go. But if I'm going to bring the country together because I am all about unity, then I can't really choose a side. I've got to sit right there in the middle, have a platform that everybody can look at and appreciate, understanding that I truly believe that we can do better. Mm -hmm. We can do better than what's been going on for the past 20, 30 years. So here we go as an independent candidate with a great plan 
a plan that is going to embrace the technology that is coming on us really, really quick. That's correct. Okay? Because things are changing, my friend. Yes, sir. <laughs> they are changing. And if we don't change with our whole system, we're going to get left behind. We need to be the ones that are at the forefront. We need to be the ones that are leading the entire world. We don't need to let one of these other countries come up and lead us where we're following them for the rest of creation. Yes. Okay? Or the rest of time. So, with that being said, I do believe that we can do better. Each and every one of you should be asking yourselves right now, are we as good right now as we were three or four years ago? Are we as good right now as we were 10 years ago or 20 years ago? That's a great question. Which is why I'm running for yeah. President of the United States. And I'd love to have your support. Let's go. Let's go. So you mentioned in um, your speech to the audience that you're running independent. Right. Now, did it take you some time to come to the realization that you're not going to go on the Republican side, you're not going to go on the Democrat side, this is where I'm going to be? You know, it really, really did. And um, for many years, I was running under a platform called Eaglenomics because I took the best from the left wing and the right wing mm -hmm. sitting right in the middle. So I was like, you know, I'm not really a Democrat or Republican. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, and then you start looking at polls, polls now say that 54% of our population, voting population, is independent. Mm. Where only about 23% is Democrat and 23% of the voting population is Republican. With that being said, if you've got the right uh, independent candidate mm -hmm. that gets the traction, that independent candidate can win. <laughs> yeah. New York Times said so two weeks ago. Uh -huh. Yeah, we nice. talked about that. Yeah, yeah nice. we talked about that. So, and, and it's, a, it's a very good question because, you know, there's a lot of things that pops in my head when it comes to someone that's running for president as to how do we make the structure and the foundation of the United States better. Right. When we talk about this, there's finance, there's technology, there's, um, you know, there's so many different areas. And w when we talk about also the different cultures that we have here in the U.S. and bringing right. people together, when you're running and you're looking at this, because you've actually been in this kind of position before, right. with saying, how can we make this better? Now, I do want to talk about, because one of the struggles that we know is the financial market. One of the financial markets in regards to saying, hey, the U.S. is in debt. They are in trillions and trillions of debt. When you're thinking about something like that, what comes to mind in regards to what is our solution to be able to fix our financial let me, situation? Let, let me start by asking you a question, Rico. Sure. Did you sign for any of that debt with China or whoever? No. Okay, and probably none of your friends did either. I Correct. didn't. Nobody else did. So really, we the people are not in debt. It's people that are sitting up there. They're, that are called lawmakers in Washington, D.C. They're yeah. signing all these, these notes. Sure. Okay? Yeah. So when you start thinking about that, we the people are not. But I'm going to tell you this right now. Within 15 years of while I'm speaking right now, within 15 years from now, 75%, roughly 75% of all the jobs here in the United States will be taken over by robots and artificial intelligence. Hmm. Because of that, my new system is the system that we've got to go to simply because you're going to have a lot of people that aren't. That's why, you know, I am a, I'm a huge fan of the universal base, basic income. And yes, under my plan, every American, every man, every woman, every child, mm -hmm. okay, will receive $10,000 per month for life. Right now, your birthright in this system that we're in right now is debt. Right. Okay. Right. In fact, if you look at 31 trillion worth, worth of debt, that means right at a million dollars worth of taxes you were born having to pay in your wow. lifetime. That's your birthright right now. Right. So we've got to change that. See, I believe that, that your birthright for being an American, because America is a great country. We're a great country. But we can be so much better. Our birthright should be this. You are born, you deserve a home, and it should be paid for. There should be no taxes. Any debt that you've got should be canceled. You should have free health care. You should have at the highest level. You should have free education at the highest level. And you should have $10,000 per month. The reason being, right now on the fiat money system that we're on, 
they print just enough money, and it's all printed out of thin air. You know yeah, that, right? Uh -huh, yeah. Okay. They print just enough that we can barely survive. So what if we went to a system where it's still fiat money, it's digital money, right? Yeah. But instead of just printing just enough to survive, let's make sure that we've got enough that we can actually prosper yeah. and be what we're supposed to be as Americans. Yeah. Why 10,000? I mean, why stop there? I mean, why well, not 15, why not 20? What, well, it could what, be. What came to well, 10,000? It, it really could be. We've, we've got a team of experts okay. and a, a, a team of people internationally, mm -hmm. actually, that are looking at this because we're looking at doing this globally. And I know some of y'all are out there saying he's globalist. This, that, you know what? We're in a global economy. Right. Get over it. <laughs> yeah. We really we are. are. We are. Yeah. We really are. We are. Okay. Yeah. How many of you have yeah. friends on Facebook that are in different countries? Of course. Right. <laughs> Am I right? Cash at me. Right. Right. <laughs> it's my birthday. Cash, cash at me. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Well, I know half Think of my, about it. My day is international phone calls. So exactly. I mean, yeah, we are. It is global. Yeah. So right. I, I just wonder why that mark. I mean, is that based off your studies? Like what the average person would need? To be okay? Yes. Okay. And, and in fact, the, the experts using artificial intelligence also mm -hmm. will actually come in and look at all the goods and services, and they're going to set prices, okay? These prices will not increase. So in other words, with the new system that we're going to go to, inflation is going to be a thing of the past. So we'll because no see more a, $8 eggs. Right. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants to buy eggs now. <laughs> It's Easter next weekend. It's just like no eggs. Yeah, yeah, no Easter eggs. That's right. The bunny, the bunny is not doing not eggs. Here no, more, no. Right? like no. no. It's rocks this year. Just That's like, right. We did a uh, we did a joke like we had, we have a section called LOL and we had well hey I got some eggs in my car if I'm selling for five dollars. Yeah. <laughs> They're like a packet of three. Pack of three for five bucks. Yeah. Exactly. Underground eggs. That's like where the market is now. <laughs> You know, I think that's I, I think the, the the structure and the concept of being able to have ten thousand dollars a month is 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 enough. Like I think it is if you think about how we're living today, right? I mean, meaning that from hey, I need to go and buy groceries or I, whatever size family I have, ten thousand is good enough for you. You know what I mean? Well, he's like, where do I sign up? Right. Well, well, here's another exactly. thing. Like like. Some of some of the people that try to debate me on this, they say, "Well, if you give everybody ten thousand a month, everybody's going to become lazy." Well, let me just say this. I was just going to ask you okay. that. That is a critic response. That, that, that's a good question yeah. or, or a good response. It really but, is. but the fact of the matter is, the jobs are going to be gone. Okay. They're not going to have those jobs to go to. So, what this is going to do—that basic income that's going to be everybody's foundation—is yeah. going to be sitting there. So now they can go and pursue what they really want to do. Yeah. Think about it. I flew in. Yep. I took an Uber here. Yep. It was a med student. Okay. He's basically a doctor. That was my Uber driver. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We can do better. We can do better, America. I this like system that. right here is better. You know, uh, you see the Jetsons. The, the oh yeah, the I saw it back when I was a kid. So yeah, what do you think about that? What do you think about if you didn't take an Uber and you were able to fly here to my house? Would you? <laughs> I think I think if you put that in your repertoire, we we'll have more conversations. We're supposed like to be that. testing something like that right now. Right. Well, we are testing. Yeah. yeah, we are testing, and you know, from I'm a techie geek. So right when, when you said ten thousand, I'm like, man. So maybe we can get a you know, uh, you know, an, a car that actually flies to the location. Well, think about this right now. McDonald's. Yep. They've already got stores on the West Coast that are 100% robotic. Okay? They're not going to stop there. Yeah. Every store will have that within 15 years. Yep. Every food chain yep. is going to be that way. The jobs are going to be gone, which is why we've got to go to this system. Right. And I am the only one that is actually putting it out there that's getting any kind of traction. You've got the Democrat uh, party, and then you've got the Republican party, and their nominees are going to be talking about the same old, same old. Yeah. Okay? The same old, same old. And you know what? Has anything really gotten better? Think about it. Yeah. We got, like you said, we got uh, the price of eggs is eight bucks for, for a dozen. That's yeah. crazy. I mean, we are a bit 
over and exhausted with the recycled conversation yeah. of the promises that don't seem to come nearly as right. fulfilled as what they're bringing to the table. And in some of the discovery with you, you don't have a super heavy political background, right. although you, ha you are a speaker. But I kind of find that refreshing because I think we're all kind of over the politic angle. Right. So for you, um, in your speaking career, you, you mentioned global, global economy. Mm -hmm. You travel a lot and you speak everywhere. Right. How did that kind of shape your view of today's economy and where you stand on your presidency? Well, whoever the president of the United States is, he needs to have a lot of contacts and a lot of people he can go to mm -hmm. around the world. And here's why. The United States literally has 5% of the world's population. 95% Valerie of the world's population lives outside of the United States. So the United States needs the world, mm -hmm. but at the same time, the world needs the United States because if the United States economy does well, the world does well, right? It's just the way it is. Yes. If the United States economy does bad, the same thing happens for the entire world. So we want to be the leader, okay, of the free world. We want to be the leader of the entire world. And we should always strive for that. This right here, this plan, allows us to continue on that path. So in your travels, are you saying right now you don't feel like they view us as leadership globally right now? It's, it's changed a little bit. Okay. It, it really has. Um, uh, when uh, President Trump took over uh, and, and he became president back on January 20th of 2017, mm -hmm. Uh, in, in my traveling around the world, I noticed everybody was thinking we were more of a seclusion type country. So it shifted oh, a bit. It shifted. The views. It did. Okay. Now that's changed a little bit now with, with President Biden. But I truly believe that, that President Biden and former President Trump's 15 minutes are about up. Yeah. And a lot of people are saying it's time to talk to the hand. Yeah. And it's time to go in a different direction. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> well, as much as yeah. I know, well, I, and just talking just to your average people every day that, I, I mean, people are kind of over the chatter, the same political chatter. Right. So uh, what I'm hearing from you so far is bringing kind of a different perspective. You keep mentioning that jobs are going to go away. Are they going to go away or will they just kind of shift into different type of employment? Valerie, that's really a good question. So... The, the type jobs that we have right now mm -hmm. are going to go away. So then the universal basic income comes in, mm -hmm. $10,000 a month, which frees people up to now they can go and be creative in what they want to do. So on that creative, so, that creative yeah. word, I like that. As soon as you said that, not creative society, we understand. But, <laughs> yes. but the creative piece, even during the pandemic, the yes. pandemic, we were able to sit in the house figure out what we actually needed to do within ourselves to be creative. As soon as we actually open up, boom, you had so many great ideas right. of what was actually needed to make this world better. And people didn't really want to go back to their, their jobs. They didn't. They, a lot of people didn't want to go back to their jobs right. because they became entrepreneurs. And right. this goes into the same concept of what you're talking about being creative. Right. That's what I really love about that it was a silver lining with it, the pandemic. Yeah. Yeah. And me being, you know, a techie guy, you know, when it when it comes to robots, we actually have that where I work at right now. We do have robots now. Um, hospitals are starting to actually have robots that's going to each one of the rooms uh, to actually serve the patients. So we, we have robots seen, that actually do surgery, go inside the body. Yeah. So. Exactly. That's another thing. Yeah. That's actually even it's it's coming out. And I'm ex, you know I'm excited about <laughs> stuff like that. So, but when we talk also about there's another thing that actually um, comes up as agriculture. When it comes to what the world is eating right now, when yeah. it comes to processed food, when it comes to not just homegrown. So I went to Egypt, for example. I went to Egypt. Everything in that agriculture was just fresh. McDonald's was fresh. They had Dunkin' Donuts. It that was tasted fresh. different, it right? Just tasted different. Yeah. Tasted different. It just tasted different. It just tasted as if the lamb or the cow was in the back, <laughs> and they said, give me a few minutes. We got to do some things. <laughs> they came back out. It was so fresh. <laughs> and the food... <laughs> And the food was and so food. good, right? And the food was so good. Never mind that mooing. It's okay. Right, right, right. It's okay. Don't worry Don't about it. Don't bring your kids over right. here, right? 
<laughs> so what happens with the agriculture, the poultry, the, the, the meats of the world? What do, we, what do you see would be a change in that arena? It's a great question. Well, I truly believe that the farming is going to change a little bit here in the next 15, 20 years as well sure. to hydroponics and aquaponics. And if you are not familiar with those terms, Google them. Hydroponics, aquaponics. I've actually been, been able and fortunate enough to, to see these in action on the West Coast where it actually looks like a, a big nursery. Yeah. Uh, you know, one of those nurseries where they have all the plants and everything. Sure. But it's all based on just sitting right there in a big old trough of water. It comes down and then at the end you've got these big old huge things of lettuce and carrots and whatever else that it is. In fact, they've actually got homes that they're building on the West Coast right now. They'll put an eight by eight room on the house that can feed a family of four indefinitely. What? Yeah. How cool is that? Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, because our, our, the way the food system kind of works right now is just geared to feed the masses. It's not all solely geared on nutrition. So it's like we have to, we have to look for nutrition instead of it being Listen, the other way that's around. another thing yeah. that I want to talk about. Exactly. When you walk in a grocery store or Walmart or anything like that, the first thing you're going to see is cookies, candy, cake, stuff like that, right? And then when you leave, same thing. When you're checking out, it's all the candy bars, everything else. Kit Kats. We, and and we sit here and we wonder why Reese's. diabetes and high blood pressure yep. runs rampant in yep. the United States these yep. days. Yeah, We've got to do things different. Yeah. We've got to do things different. You know, Ravi, we got more stuff to talk about. Everybody, you already know Ravi Wells. We're going to take, you know, we do have a clip. And thank you to Marina for sending me this clip. We're going to show your two-minute clip okay. um, of you. So we're going to definitely talk about that. So everybody... Here we go. You'll be sure. right. I do represent the Creative Society there is a better way of living. Every American will have $10,000 a month, basic income, a month for life, just like that. Eliminating all debt, eliminating taxes for individuals, for small business and medium-sized businesses, free health care, free education to the highest level. Let me ask you this right now and think about your life. Think about the lives of your friends and family. Would that make for a better life? Yes or no? Absolutely it would. So I'm going to ask each and every one of you, once again, go to creativesociety.com. We can make this change in America. And we can do it very, very quickly, but we've got to all do it. And you've got to spread the word right here. I've taken a strong stand, not only for everybody in this room, but for everybody across this globe. Rise up. Turn the phones down. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. That was a good one. I, I like love that. that. That was awesome. It was really good. Yeah. <laughs> How does it feel to look at yourself on the screen sometimes? You know, I, I had seen some of it at the Georgia State Capitol. Uh -huh. yeah. But then the other where I was actually speaking, that was in Los Angeles. Okay. That's so crazy. From one, one coast to the other, right? Yeah. Literally within five days. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, I know, right? But I had not seen that footage. That was no. so awesome. Oh, that's good. awesome, you man. Look, well, you well, you've seen it here first. In there. You do look good. You look good. Yeah. You look good. Well, you look great. Really right, good. <laughs> thank you. He's got my vote. <laughs> <laughs> if it was just that easy, right. huh? it was just that easy. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, man. So, everybody, thank you guys so much for tuning in. <laughs> everybody from Creative Society, thank you guys so much. I do want to say a few names out here because you know we got to actually have some, we got some shout outs that I want to actually yeah, tell you guys. We do. Um, you know, and Aras, uh, Aras is actually checking in. She says, Jason Bell, hello, Jason Love, whoever that is. Thank you, Jason, for tuning in. Sonia, uh, Sonja Sophie is checking in. Hello, oh, Sonia. Yeah, yeah um, she said that this is true. The rest of the world had high hopes for the U.S. and was mostly disappointed when democracy seems to really take a hit and the world would be happy to see another change again. That is correct, yes. love. That is correct. A big shout out to Melissa Martinez. Yes. Thanks for checking in. BCFS. John T. for free. It's always a pleasure to have you. Thank, Thank you, you for checking in. And we have Indecent Permit. Ooh, they're giving promotions. Jason Bell. Ricky, Creative Society, thank you for tuning in. Yes. Simply Good Man says, hi, we need a crea Creative Society so much. Already on board with it. Thank you. Laura uh, Garcia Camacho <laughs> says, in yes. response to your robots, <laughs> yes. they are already robotic in China. Of course. Yeah. So they are. to your point about us needing to get up to speed, yes. sounds like we're a bit behind oh we are we are we are i <laughs> think thank uh, you thank you everybody for tuning in and keep the questions coming in comments so we do have uh simple good man we i love that name just want to let you know i love <laughs> that name good simple good man she says hi <laughs> we need creative society so much and thank you guys so much uh yes you did say ricky james dunn hollywood style how are you sir thank you so much for checking in with us and olga schmidt she said hello which one of the Ogas? <laughs> we know which one that is. I know which one which that Oga is. <laughs> Oga. Yeah, which one? Which Oga is which it? Which Oga? Right, which There's Oga is it? That's yeah. a lot of them, right? All right, everybody. Thank you so much. You already know we have nothing other than Robbie Wells, presidential candidate Ooh, 2024 real quick, as Daniel, well. Daniel, checking in from South Africa. Thank you Whoa. for checking in. Hey, Daniel. Daniel. Thank you so much. Yes, much love. Okay, we do have a question. Okay. What is your what is his view on social security? Ah, very good question. Well, good question, Melissa. Understand this. I've got two moms and yes, I do have two moms and both of them are on social security. So I know the problems. Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay? Um, I was adopted when I was an infant. And just to give you a brief little story, this beautiful young girl went away to college on a music scholarship and very quickly everyone in the school realized just how talented she was. She was gonna sell out concert halls. In fact, she sung with the Boston Philharmonic Orchestra when oh, she wow. was in college. Oh, wow. But like most young girls, she ended up falling in love. The man was older, about 20 years older. He had a family, they had an affair. One thing led to another, she got pregnant. Everybody that knew her said, look, it's a blip on the radar, don't have this child to the point where they set her up an appointment to go terminate. At the last minute, this beautiful young girl said, no, I'm gonna give this child a chance, put this child up for adoption. Now, I've always said, if I could meet that beautiful young girl, I would thank her for setting my life in motion. Yeah. You see, that beautiful young girl's my birth mother. Oh, wow. wow. So I was, I was adopted. I was adopted by a Baptist minister and his wife in the South um, when I was just six weeks old. Fast forward to when I was 48 years old, just a few years, just six years ago, and my birth mother actually found me. Now, to answer the question, okay, because now I've got two moms, okay, and they love each other, they're like best friends, we do holidays together, birthdays together, it's the coolest thing. You can go on my Facebook page, you'll see pictures of all three of us this past Sunday. True story. Awesome. So, so anyway, both of them are on Social Security. Uh -huh. Okay, so they get a fixed income where it's very, very difficult for them to pay for the lights, right. to pay for their rent, to pay for their food, all this. If they didn't have a good son, they probably wouldn't be able to make it. Right. right. In our new plan that we're going to, the aged and elderly are going to be revered. They're going to be respected like they should be because, you see, they are also going to receive the $10,000 a month for the rest of their lives, yeah. okay, which is going to be a great plan for them as well. Yeah. Their housing is still going to be free too. Mm -hmm. In this whole plan, everybody gets this. It's not just one person. It's everybody. If, if somebody wants to go out and they want to work above that and make more money, great and good. Go do it. 
somebody wants to go out and create and, and, and come up with a new invention or come up with a cure for cancer, great, please do it, okay? But we want to give everybody the opportunity to be able to prosper. And our old folks, we want to make sure that they, that our old folks, are going to be respected like they should be. I like that. I love that. You know, that's dear to my, that's actually dear to my heart because my mom is 80, 84. She's 84 years old. And when I hear about something like that, I'm like, there, you know how happy my mom would be just to have that type of money to be able to be able to do things, but also to be able to see the world right. as well. I think with that $10,000 will go a long way for a lot of people. Now, we talked about lazy people. I'm not talking about my mom being lazy, but... <laughs> if we talked about lazy people, right? <laughs> if we talk about lazy people, right? We talk about people that um, that has a home, but they don't have the mentality. We talk about free health care. Yeah. We talk about um, how there's different personalities and there's different diseases. There's different ways that people are doing things. For example, we talk about violence in Chicago. In New York, there's a high crime rate after the pandemic because right. of things was actually happening. How do you handle violence when it comes to mentality issues that people may be going through and it's not been diagnosed? How do you how do you how do you look into something like that? Well, if you look look at history, because history will repeat itself. Yeah. Whenever unemployment goes up crime goes up. Correct. Violent crime goes up. Yeah. When unemployment goes down, violent crime goes down. Now, let's get real for a minute, sure. okay? Let's do it. You look at the history of our, of our job force and the unemployment rate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whatever the unemployment rate is for the nation, it's double that for the African-American male. Mm -hmm. Let's yeah. just keep it real. That's it right. is. Yep. It's not good. You know, a few years ago, I, I actually stood in a room. It was a town hall type meeting in Atlanta, Georgia. And it was two gangs that hated each other. But they left their weapons at the door, and we came in and we talked. We had a real talk. Yeah. You follow me? Yeah. And we talked about things that really mattered to them. And so I asked them all a question. I said, look, there's no right answers tonight. There's no wrong answers. I want to know what you guys really think and what y'all want. So let's see if there's a way that we can do that. Yeah. Do you know when I asked the question, if you had a great paying job, would you get off the street and take that job? And they all raised their hand. So think about this. All these people that are in gangs, okay, all these people that, that are sitting around and, and without a job, sure. they'd much rather be productive and be a part of society yeah. if they're given that opportunity. Now, with what we're going to do here, yes, it'll be a transition period because of the robots where everybody's getting their 10000 but... I truly believe we're going to be more productive because we are going to be more creative because now we are going, instead of having to go work a nine to five job that you don't want, yeah. now you're going to be able to go pursue what you really desire and what you want to see happen in this world. So what I'm hearing is instead of us having to do, living in the world of have tos, right. we're now transitioning to a place of a want to mm -hmm. so we get to do what we desire to do as opposed to what we feel like we have to do just to pay the bills right i, I like that i like that concept but i also <laughs> feel that there's a need to because the lay I'm, I'm stuck on lazy i'm sorry <laughs> i'm stuck on lazy part because people that do get into that routine mode mm -hmm. and this is throughout the board right this throughout right. the board doesn't matter what what uh what color what race that you're in um I have to say that it's very important that they don't lose that creativity mind. They don't lose it. They need that spark. <clears throat> we have to be able to, and I think that's where I was talking about, how do we determine as far as the mentality of them not saying, hey, well, I'm just going to go and do this. Well, I know I have a job, but I'm just going to go and do this. But they also have to have a need right. to be right. able to do that as well, too. And actually, to your point. Yeah. Um, Laura has a question that says, um, is there like some sort of incentive to better yourself or an incentive 
for you to want to get an education because to his point if we're given everything there's no incentive right for us to strive for more it's kind of what the what you're get alluding to right yeah yeah so she's asking is there an incentive yeah I, I i truly believe that there is an incentive because the human spirit yeah you can sit there for a while and say i'm just gonna take the ten thousand dollars this that and other but after a while the one the cream are going to rise to the top let's just sure. say that the yeah. cream are going to yeah. rise to the top uh, they say that with nfl Am I right? Yeah. Same thing with the NBA. The <laughs> yeah. cream rise to the NFL. top. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I remember back when I was coaching uh, high school ball, and this one kid told me, he says, he says, I'm going to play in the NBA. I was like, well, okay, you're going to play in the NBA. Yeah. I said, but you need to, that means you probably need to play high school basketball first. Correct. <clears throat> and he hadn't gone out for the team. <laughs> so, so whatever whatever your goals are, this is going to free people up to actually pursue their goals and their dreams. And, and I'm one that truly believes in writing out your goals and dreams. Yeah. Back in the 90s, when I first finished college, I sat down and I wrote out 115 things that I wanted to do. These were personal goals, professional goals, spiritual goals. Okay, 115 things I wanted to do. Now. I've done a bunch of them. I've done over 105, I think. Okay, I wanted to learn how to fly an airplane, did that. Uh, <laughs> wanted to climb a mountain, did that. Wanted to meet the President of the United States, met four of them, and had one of them land on my football field. Wow. And I'm nice. probably the only person in America that, that can say he's had the President land in his backyard in Marine One. Okay. Nice. Yeah, exactly. I um, wanted to win a national championship, did that. Wanted to be an NCAA Division I football coach, did that. Okay. Wanted to run for president of the United States, doing that right now. Want to become the president of the United States. Hopefully, good Lord willing, with each and every one of you watching here, if you'll spread the word and you'll share my post, <laughs> we're going to do that in 2024. I like share it, like share <laughs> Hey, you know, Robin, we got to take another break. Let's get excited. Let's get excited. Let's get excited. Hey, everybody, we're going to show you our social media video, everybody. <laughs> this is our social media video. We want you guys to enjoy this. We'll be right back. 30 seconds, everybody. Back. Yes, welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. Yes. Welcome back. Yes. Well, With Mr. Having Robbie Wells. I'm having a great time, Rico. Yeah, right yeah. <laughs> Valerie, this is awesome. Thank you. Y'all gotta have me back on. We, we will. will. We come will. back. Hey, listen. In the event that we win, okay, in oh, November okay. 24, yes, sir. We're gonna do a sit down right there in which room? The China room. The China room. Let's go, baby. Right there in the White House. The China room. You yes. are all witnesses. <laughs> As as my as my opponent says, Jaina. 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 Yeah. 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 Hey, that brings oh, me man. to another point. Can I say something? <laughs> Talk to me. Man. Okay, so I, I've Speak got on. an appo opponent that always likes to say, "Make America great again," which insinuates that we've been great before. Correct. Now, America's done some great things. We've gone to the moon. We've come up with great inventions, the internet, so forth, so on. Right? Mm -hmm. We have. Mm -hmm. But was it ever great no, for the Native like that. Americans that were forced onto the Trail of Tears? No. Was it ever great for Africans that were brought over here and sold into slavery? Was it ever great for African American males, even today, that are afraid to walk down the street in fear of being uh, harassed by the police? Or even worse, okay, think about George Floyd. So when you start thinking about this, make America great again. I'm going to venture to say this right now. America will achieve true greatness for the first time once the lines of separation that have divided our people are completely erased. There you go. Come on. Let's go. There was a question that one of our followers actually okay. asked, and they sent it in to me, so this is kind of an anonymous, right? Okay, anonymous sure. question said, so 
you kind of talked about the man that says make make America great again, right? And mm-hmm. if Donald Trump is being indicted and the GOP no longer exists to support him as he decides to run, uh, and he decides to run as an independent, how would that change the presidential race, and how would that affect his campaign, not yours, but his? Well, I, I can't say anything about that. What, what I am more concerned about right now than, than my opponents and how they're running their, their campaign, yeah. I'm more concerned about getting my message out to the American people. Yes, sir. There's 350 million Americans that are my special interest group. There are 350 million Americans that literally need to hear what we've got to say yeah. because there is a better way, yeah. and that's what we're bringing to the table. I think, Speaking of oh, message, um, why rise up? Let's talk about that for a minute. Well, I thought that, yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Well, rise up. Rise up is my campaign slogan. Uh-huh. And rise up uh, for for the Christians that are out here watching. Rise up is biblical. It was Jesus that actually told the paralyzed man to rise up, take up your mat, and walk, and he did. Wow. So I truly believe that our country, in a lot of ways, we're paralyzed right now. We're paralyzed with this economy. We're paralyzed with race problems. We're paralyzed with, with, uh, with all sorts of issues that could, we could do better on. So we need a strong leader that's going to come in and say, hey, rise up. And what we want to do is make sure with this system, everybody rises up to a new level. Those that are in poverty, they come into the middle class. Those that are in the middle class, they can come to upper middle class. Those that are in the upper middle class can move on up to being rich. Yeah. Why not? Why not? Rise up. Oh, that is good. <laughs> Thank you. you know the word rich sounds good right now? I mean, <laughs> can I see you talk to rich? I mean, that's what I'm talking about. I mean, yes, you can. I love that. I love that. I love that. <laughs> You know, I think, I think, you know, I, I think, um, and someone said in the comments, I think Laura actually said, well, eggs be $20. <laughs> if we're getting $10,000 a month. They are now. <laughs> Girl, you know you, Boy, get, you know you get organic eggs. You know the eggs you buy are already $20. My goodness. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hey, everybody, thank you guys so much for actually tuning in. We're down to our last eight minutes, but, man, we're having such a great time with <laughs> My man yes. Robbie, Robbie Absolutely. Wells, man, it's such a such a beautiful thing. So, because we think about um, the society, the Creative Society, and I love, and all to my people from Creative Society, we love you guys for also supporting the Rico No Suave show because they've been supporting the Rico No Suave show. I I want to say in twenty twenty is when we actually had the Ogas, right? That actually was yeah. here. And they've just been continuously supporting the, um, the Rico Noswale show. But we understand the message, right? We understand what is needed for humans to be right. able to live in a creative society where things are comfortable, right? When you win, right? When you win, I want to say that the creative minds and creative aspects of things that we live. So we do have finance, right? Let, let, let me go back. Let me go. We got technology. We have um, agriculture. Agriculture. Mm-hmm. We got the whole finance, the, ec- um, the economy, Economics, right? The economy yeah. and all of that great stuff. Don't leave out healthcare. And healthcare. Now, social of security. course, healthcare is He addressed big. social security. Yeah, so Six health- percent of our economy right now. So health- One sixth of our economy, excuse One me. One sixth. What happens with you said robots. We talked about robots before, but we also still need nurses as yeah. well, too. And we still need doctors because it's, a, it's kind of understanding the experts. Would you call them doctors or would you call them scientists? That's something that I hmm. think that we would leave the experts up to figure that out in their field. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's what I'm saying. Because yeah. you know what? Let me, let me tell you this, Rico. Okay. An economist? No. Okay. Yeah. Um, leader? Yes. What does a good leader do? A good leader surrounds himself with people that are experts in their field. And then he relies on the advice that they give him. Yeah. And then he makes a sound decision. Right. So that's where I come in. I'm going to surround myself with the best minds when it comes to education, when it comes to health care, yeah. when it comes to the whole nine yards. I'm going to tell you something else I want to do when I become president. We're going to cut out the gun violence. Please. Okay, I've actually got a plan that will do that. I was an educator and a coach for 20 years, ladies and gentlemen. 
And I can remember exactly where I was when Sandy Hook occurred, when that tragedy occurred. And it brought tears to my eyes because I, I realized that could have been my class or it could have been one of my coworkers' classes. So I took a pause and said, you know what? Let's see if I can come up with something. Because I'm one, if somebody's got a great plan, I want to hear it. Right. Okay? But I think that I did. I think I came up with a plan. It's called Vets for Kids. We can protect every child in every school across this country by taking our unemployed veterans, screen them, train them, get the right ones in place in every school across this country as guardians for our children. But under my watch, there's not going to be any more school shootings. Under my watch, our veterans are going to take care of our kids because what's the greatest asset of your nation? It's the people. Right. And what's the greatest asset of your people? It's the youth right. because they're your right. future. Right. Right. So we've got to protect our future. Okay? Yeah. So under my plan, we are going to do that. Can we put under your plan... Um, can we put under your plan for us not to get old? <laughs> Is it possible? Well, you know, there's actually scientists and, and doctors that are looking at doing that with, through the Creative Society. I don't know if you've actually seen some of those videos. No. They're actually looking at doing that. And in the future, it would not surprise me if they don't come up with the technology where you'll actually see human beings living 150, 200 years old. Would you preserve your brain, maybe? My brain? I mean, he's talking about not getting old. Well, yeah, we are you talking about? First are you talking about the physical is he body? Or? We got to preserve his brain first, <laughs> right? <And> then, <laughs> so he will. <laughs> well, I think. Uh, yeah, yeah I mean, people I, I, like are real. This, this thing about them, they don't want to die; they want to live forever. Well, like, that's me. That's me. So the reason why I asked about that plan, and we can talk about it in China rule. Yeah. Uh, but I would love to see because of things are going to change. Like, the food, that's number one. Because right. the food itself, and of course, there's health, yes. right? That's, mm -hmm. that's involved in this. And the food that we eat, and we're trying to live healthy, right. that's going to make, number one, if we have everything that's homegrown, grass-fed, and it's actually good for us, yes, we will live mm -hmm. a long time. But I'm sure, because I love science, once again, technology and science comes yes. together. <laughs> when it comes to science as well with the experts to be able to say, how can a human being live longer and healthy, of course, at the same time? So, I, you know, I just want to throw that at you, see what you thought about that. Yeah, uh, under, under the, the Creative Society plan, you're going to actually see that. Uh, and we'll there, are, there are scientists out there that are working <laughs> on that as we speak. Uh, I know I've read a couple of, I've read some articles about that that's why and he's yeah. a science guy so yeah. I know you've seen some of those yeah I, I, lo I love science but things I'm, that I'm people are guy. doing I'm a IT guy so when it comes to <laughs> you know things that's evolving and things are changing yes. um, I will tell you though I love cheat days please do not take fried chicken away and cheat <laughs> Make them, make, make can we keep fried chicken <laughs> can, can we keep can we keep pizza once a week right. yes Okay. Yes, Chicago style, baby. A national pizza. Chicago style is like pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> I know. Have you had it? Yeah. yeah. Okay, good for you. Do you like Chicago style? I like Chicago. You know what, though? Huh. My my hat is off to New York style too. I knew it. Oh I knew man, it. It someone really always is. gotta bring Come up on. New York pizza. Oh man, so do you fold the pizza too? And eat it? <laughs> you like do you know because it's kind of flimsy? Do you? No, that's it? that's what Northerners do. Oh, I see. Okay. No, 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 we All don't right. do that. Not in New York. No, we don't do that down in, in South Carolina. Oh, oh, oh okay. Yes, oh, okay. yes, yes. But New York. But in New York, they do. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 We don't do that here. We but don't, there's yeah. a bunch of New Yorkers that have actually come down to Charlotte and opened up a bunch of like New York style pizza. They try Rest, to do that here. Yeah, but, but Chicago has not sent anybody down. No. Yeah. I don't know. That's because y'all want them to stay. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> stay for the pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Robbie Wells, you know, uh, our time is up, man. This has been fun. It has been Our really fun. Our time is fun. up, but I have something for you, right? Because, okay. sure. you know, I have a shirt, right? I have a shirt for you. <laughs> this means a lot. Rico. This, this, this means yes. a lot. Yes. Right? So, with this shirt itself, you know, we, we talk about the gems of the world. Yes. Right? The gems of the world, because you are global to us, right? Because right. you talk to so many people from around the globe, around the world, um, it's... It's amazing in regards to what you have done. I'm going to call you not the hero, but I will call you an angel. 
right? Because you actually saved someone's life in the nick of time because of the experience that you had, now you're looking to save more lives when you become president. The objective of you becoming president is for everyone to rise up, to be able to feel good, to be able to look good and live long, right? And to be able to say, hey, with this money, we're going to take care of you. One thing that touched my heart was about the elderly, the older people, mm -hmm. right? Because we have to take care of our parents. We have to take care of our oh, mom yeah. and our dad, right? And I think you are going in that right direction of presidency. And congratulations on your TikTok of 1.6 million views. Yeah, yeah, congratulations, congratulations. Hey, TikTok's important. It's important. And, and, and thank you for the shirt, but let me, let me say that. Go Since ahead. You brought I'll it up. this up. Go okay, ahead. This up. Hey, listen, you. everybody that's out there, go to riseupwithrobbie.com. It's riseupwithrobbie. Spell Robbie with a Y now. Riseupwithrobbie.com. Scroll to the very bottom of the page. You're going to see all the social media sites. Make sure you go to TikTok. Yes. We had a video that went viral just in the past four days. I think it's at 1.6 million oh views my goodness. Wow. right now. Are you There's, in it? Oh, yeah. It's my video. <laughs> Absolutely, I'm in it. Okay? Yes. <laughs> There's a bunch of them on yeah, there. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So this goes to 1.6 million views. <laughs> This Sit. shirt right here is for you, right? Thank and you. I want to say welcome to the Rico No Show family. <laughs> well, thank you. Let's go, baby! Yeah! 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 Yes. Robbie Wells. Robbie Wells, baby. Robbie mm -hmm. Wells. And I want you to wear that proud, too. I'll wear it on the plane going home tomorrow. <laughs> Talk to me, man. Talk to me. Yes, make and sure I love you do that. a TikTok with the shirt on. I'm yes. going to. That'd and make sure you say my name, too, because I <laughs> Yes, Valerie, I will. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to put your social media up because you did talk about your website, but yes. people want to know where else you're at. So we're going to actually put Instagram. you at Instagram at Robbie Wells 2024. Everybody, make sure you go here and check him out there. Follow him now. Let's go to the next one. Mm -hmm. Boom. You know Facebook. Elect, elect Robbie, Robbie Wells. Wells, that's what she said. Facebook. So make sure you go ahead and elect Robbie Wells. Make sure you go to Facebook and check him out there. Here we go. YouTubers, hey. YouTubies. Hey, you know what? At Robbie Wells, 5332. <laughs> Don't worry about the numbers. It's 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 random. Let's go. So it is Robbie random. Wells, yeah, it is. <laughs> Robbie Wells, 5332. Put it all in and you're good. And you can just look up Robbie Wells and trust me, if you see his face, you'll know exactly who Robbie Wells is. All right, let's go to the next one. All right, to all of my LinkedIn people, keep it business, baby. Don't be spamming, spamming him, Robbie right, Wells. from Facebook saying, hey, I saw you on Facebook. Hey, can I get a job? Make sure it's, it's going to be right, right? Make sure you go to Robbie Wells. Make sure you're good, right? right. So it's all about professionalism. It's all about making sure hey. if you're helping with the campaign, help my boy Robbie Wells. He's running for president. If someone wants to email him and say hi, email him and say hi. It's Just make sure the they back. Say, yeah. they say, if you say hi back, make sure they're going to say, hey, how are you or what you're doing right now. Don't respond back. Oh, no, no. no. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> and keep it moving. And keep it moving. Right. <laughs> <laughs> if you see uh, WYD, just keep it moving. Right, right, right. Yeah. What you doing? What you, right, doing? what you doing? I'm just being professional. All right. <laughs> That's right. Last but not least, we have that website, everybody. Yes, you already know. RiseUpWithRobbie.com. Make sure you go ahead and check him out. Yes, TikTok. Follow him on TikTok and all of his social media. Make sure you support him. And, of course, to all of the people at Creative Society, he's building something brand new. And, of course, you already know we need change. We do need change. Yes, we do. Oh, man. We need change. Robbie Wells, Lots thank you change. so much for being on the show with us today. It is a it's pleasure, really man. Such it a is pleasure. a pleasure thank to actually so have you on the show. Such a pleasure. Thank you. Put your hands together, everybody. Robbie Wells, let's go. Yeah. All right, everybody. We got to get out of here. But well, thank you guys so much for being with us here on the Rico No Suave Show with my co-host, Valerie Malesio. Hey, hey. Thank you guys so much. And we have to put up our social media as well, too. So, Everybody that's actually tuning in, make sure you go ahead and follow us at www.theregonosuaveshow.com. That's where you'll find out everything about us there. And you will be seeing the highlight of this video as well as the full video as well. You make sure you watch this. Here's the next one. Boom! Instagram. Yes, you are on you know, Instagram, right? So at Instagram, everybody, make sure you go to Rico No Suave Show. Make sure you follow us there. Follow us right now. We're building our journey there, and we'll love to see you there as well, too. We always have some great content every week. Here's our next one. 
Facebook. Boom. Yes, they asked us to come back, and yes, we did. So, the Rico No Suave <laughs> Show, make sure you go and follow us there. Go ahead and like, like, like. Love, love, love. That's what she said. So, make sure you show some love for Valerie there as well, too. <laughs> All right. Here's the next one, everybody. Our YouTubers, we're building a journey YouTube-y. there, everybody. I want you guys to go ahead and do this and subscribe, like, right now. Right now. Okay, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> do it right now. Yeah, so make sure you subscribe. Did you subscribe so yet? Everybody. Did make you sure subscribe. subscribe? Yes, make sure you subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> <Exactly. laughs> Last but not least, everybody, we also have a podcast. So if you like the podcasting Mixed piece Cloud. of this, mixcloud.com slash Rico No Suave Show. Make sure you go ahead and follow us there on Get Mixed your free Cloud. account at Mixcloud. Yeah. We do specials there. It's free. Yes, it's yes, free. It's free. Free 99. Everybody, every Wednesday, we are back. <laughs> this week, we have this Wednesday coming up. You're going to like this. He's actually an artist, but before that, he was a counterfeiter of a $100 bill. And you won't believe what type of story you're going to actually hear from my man, Arthur Williams Jr., here coming up on Wednesday, April 5th. So make sure you go ahead and tune in. All right, everybody, we got to get out of here. But thank you guys so much for tuning in to the Regional Suave Show as we end out the show. Jazz live.